So you're looking for a good camera for YouTube on the cheap. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five great cameras for YouTube that won't break the bank. Number one may surprise you. All of this and more coming up next. What's up guys, Ready here bringing you yet another new video. But before we jump into this list, I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys for all of your amazing support on the last few videos. You guys have been absolutely destroying that like button, and none of this would have been possible without you awesome people. So from me to you, thank you. Oh, and as always, these products will be linked in the description below, and this time in the cards to your right. Not my right, your right, so. With that in mind, let's jump right into this list. Coming in at number 5, we have the Canon L300 digital camera. Now, numerous YouTubers actually swear by this camera, with some even till this day. It shoots in full 1080p HD at 24 frames per second, which is more than enough for the average video. This also has built-in image stabilization, which makes it a great go-to camera for things like vlogging. And of course, you can manually adjust important settings such as the ISO and aperture to always have your videos looking great. This camera is also very well priced, with used models on Amazon running for as low as $74. Definitely be sure and check this one out. And at number 4 we have the Sony Handycam CX330. So I actually own this camcorder myself and have used it to shoot some videos actually very recently. But more importantly, this is the camera that launched my YouTube career back in 2014. So this camera actually takes it a step up above the Canon ELF by bringing 1080p video with 30 and 60 frames per second. And of course that does translate into much smoother video. It also shoots video in a higher quality AVC HD format, and of course it has stereo microphones on the front which translates to better sound and picture. The battery life on this camera is also quite great, and the articulating front facing screen makes keeping yourself in frame an absolute breeze. With all that being said, there are only two major drawbacks to this camera. One of those being that you can't manually adjust the ISO, which of course unfortunately results in somewhat poor low light performance, and the other being that there is no external microphone jack on this camera. But other than that, this is a great all-around camera for simple things like vlogging or even in-studio production. Coming in at number 3, we have the Yi 1080p Action Camera. So this is a camera that's more geared toward action-type environments, but you could easily use this for simple things like vlogging or point-of-view shots. It also features Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity with its smartphone companion app, which in turn allows for cool things like remote shooting and near-instant sharing. And of course, it does shoot in full 1080p at 60 frames per second. But the real kicker here is its $69 price tag. So this camera is actually on sale right now with a $30 discount, making it not only the cheapest one on this list, but also the one with the best value. But if you're looking to step up your game a bit and want to get into more professional video, coming in at number 2 we have the Canon Rebel T3i. Now this camera is a few years old by now, but in 2017 it still packs quite a punch. It's fairly small and lightweight, and it shoots at full 1080p HD at up to 30 frames per second. And with this being an SLR camera, you can customize nearly every setting from the color profile to the ISO, even down to the aperture size itself. And of course, with this being a Canon, you also have access to an absolutely massive collection of lenses of nearly every shape and size. These features allow you to get a much more customizable picture for your video. And with DSLR and SLR cameras typically running in the upper hundreds to even thousands, it's absolutely refreshing to see this guy running for around $300 to $400 used on Amazon. And before we get into number one, there are a few honorable mentions that didn't quite make this list because of their price, but are definitely still worth a look. For the first honorable mention, we have the Panasonic Lumix G7. This compact and lightweight mirrorless camera shoots up to 4K at 30 frames per second for a price of around $597 on Amazon, but it does frequently drop down to $497 on Amazon, making it an absolute steal. And the next honorable mention we have is the Canon T7i, which I happen to be shooting on right now. Huh. So this is actually my main camera that I got fairly recently, and it is pretty much what I shoot all of my videos on. So this will typically run you anywhere from $699 to $750, depending on if you want a full accessory pack with it or not. But with the same sensor as the high-end Canon 80D, in my opinion, it's definitely worth every penny. And for the last honorable mention, we have the Canon T5i. Now, this is pretty much in between the T7i and the T3i in terms of price, but you do benefit from a much better sensor and processor over the T3i. But you do pay just a little bit more at around $419 used or $534 refurbished on Amazon. And finally, coming in at number one, we have, drum roll please, your own smartphone. So smartphone cameras have really gotten good in the past few years. Most average smartphones shoot anywhere from full HD at 1080p 60 all the way up to 4K. And while smartphones on their own can shoot pretty good video, if you add some accessories, such as this Alki lens attachment, or this shotgun microphone, you can actually produce some pretty impressive results. 
And if you look around on places like Amazon, they do actually have some dedicated smartphone rigs, like this one that comes in at under $20 with hot shoe mounts to attach camera accessories. And with all of this, you can put together the nearly perfect smartphone rig and up your production value. And if you'd like to see more of this in action, head over and check out my shot on iPhone 7 camera test video, linked below and in a card to your right. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Did you enjoy this list? Was it helpful to you? Do you have any budget camera recommendations of your own? Leave a like and a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm up to, head over to my Instagram and Twitter accounts and give me a follow, both of which are linked below and at the end screen. And as always, stay awesome.